Thomas visits his friend Shane in Melbourne. Thomas was visiting his Australian friend Shane in Melbourne. Hi, Shane. G'day, Thomas. Nice timing, mate. The doggies need your help. I'd be happy to help. I love dogs. Such friendly animals. <laughs> oh, not that kind of dog, Thomas. Follow me. So, Thomas followed Shane, wondering what kind of dog he could be talking about. At Footscray Station, Shane introduced Thomas to his friend Tracy, the Melbourne tram. G'day, Thomas. But Thomas was still confused. Where were the doggies? Crikey, she's captain. That means Tracy's broken down. Exactly. And now I can't take the doggies to their game. The doggies are the Western Bulldogs, an Australian football team, Thomas. Good day. Oh! <laughs> My coaches are full, so they're going to miss their football match at the MCG. Not if I can help it. Hop on, everyone. I'll get you to the game on time. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Righto, Thomas. Let's get going to the MCG. <laughs> But you look a little young to be football players. <laughs> We're not football players. We're Jack and Kylie, football fans. I support the Bulldogs. And I support the Cats. Cats versus dogs. Oh, that'll be exciting. <laughs> I love football. So do United are my favourite team. Oh, Thomas, not that kind of football. Thomas was confused again. What kind of football was Shane talking about? Look out, Thomas! Bust my buffers. I think I must have flattened your football. It's gone a funny shape. Footballs in Australia are oval-shaped, not like your ones on Sodor. Footballs are shaped like this to help catch them and, and, and kick them high and far across the field. Wait. You can catch a football? Yep. That's one of the many cool things about Australian football. Cats and dogs playing football? Flattened balls you can catch with your hands? I can't wait to learn more about Australian football. <laughs> <laughs> You've come to the right place, mate. <laughs>